Nature is a beautiful thing. However, with that beauty can come some serious destructive power, from tsunamis to earthquakes to hurricanes. However, perhaps some of the most intense and destructive forces of nature are the volcanoes that litter our planet. These huge mountains that spew lava have captivated the human mind for millennia. Today, we are going to be looking into how 10 volcanoes that reside on our planet got their names. One of the most infamous volcanoes on our planet is of course Mount Vesuvius. Its destruction of the Roman city of Pompeii is a story it seems everyone knows. There seems to be a few ideas as to how this name came about. An etymology that pops up often is that it derives from the Oscan word fes, meaning smoke. However, one theory I found discussed how the volcano may be named after Hercules, whose story is tied to the volcano. Hercules was the son of Zeus, and Zeus was apparently also known as Ves, meaning Hercules would have been known as Vesuvius, meaning son of Ves, with this name for the demigod becoming the name for the volcano. I wouldn't be surprised either if the name is somewhat related to the goddess Vesta, who was the goddess of the half and its fire. In the northwest of the United States, in Washington state, we have Mount St. Helens. Now at first glance, you may think this name has religious connotations, being named after St. Helen. Well, while there are two St. Heleners, this volcano isn't named after either of them. The volcano is named after Englishman Aline Fitzherbert, who held the title of First Baron St. Helens. The mountain was named after this man as it was named by his close friend, explorer Captain George Vancouver. South of Mount St. Helens is Yellowstone National Park. While you may May just think that Yellowstone is just an area of amazing natural beauty, the whole park is actually a super volcano, more scientifically known as a caldera. The geysers and hot springs that litter the area are a sign of the magma churning below your feet. The whole national park slash volcano is named after the river that runs through it, with this name unsurprisingly coming from the yellow stones that supposedly run across this river. One of the most reported on volcano eruptions in recent memory is the eruption of a volcano in Iceland in 2010, shooting ash into the sky and disrupting plane flight. This Icelandic volcano is called uh, Iyafaljajoku, I think? Maybe? You'll be able to hear someone pronouncing it far better than me down in the description. The volcano itself is actually underneath an ice cap, and that name is the name for the ice cap as well as the volcano, and that's why this name means something along the lines of glacier and ice cap. A volcano of a much easier to pronounce name is Mount Etna on the island of Sicily. The name is thought to come from the Greek epho, meaning I burn, which makes sense for a volcano, as volcanoes do tend to burn. This name is thought to come from an indigenous Sicilian word, meaning the fiery one. You may not know that Japan's tallest peak, its most famous mountain, Mountain, and perhaps one of its most famous landmarks is actually a volcano, though it hasn't erupted since 1707. As breathtaking as Mount Fuji is, even if you've just seen it was passed on a bullet train, its name is actually rather unknown. Some believe that the name comes from an Aboriginal Japanese language word meaning everlasting life, while another idea is that the name comes from the name of a Buddhist fire goddess, Fushi, which makes sense as Fuji sounds similar to Fuji, and it makes sense for a volcano to be named after a goddess of fire. The islands that make up Hawaii are extremely volcanic, with the most active of these being Kilauea, which violently erupted just last year as many news outlets covered, leaving a path of destruction across the island. In fact, the volcano has been constantly erupting since 1983. It's because of this ever-flowing lava that the volcano's name comes from a Hawaiian word meaning spewing and constantly spreading. Mount Pili resides in the overseas region of France in the Caribbean, Martinique. This name in French means peeled, so the volcano is known as the Peel mountain and even the bald mountain. I like to think the name comes from the fact that all the residents of the island are bald. Of course this isn't the case. This idea of the volcano being bald is thought to come from a massive eruption in 1635 that left the top of the mountain bare like it had been peeled off or as if the mountain was bald. The highest mountain in Africa, Kilimanjaro, actually has three volcanic cones. Like with Fuji, there are a couple of ideas as to where this name came from. One idea is that it comes from a mix of words from two African languages. The Swahili word Kilima meaning mountain and the Kachaga word Nyaro meaning whiteness, possibly referring to the snow or clouds that surround it. Another idea for where the name comes from is from a Kachaga phrase which means we failed to climb it. Finally, we have the infamous Krakatoa. Its 1883 eruption is considered one of the most destructive eruptions in modern history, tearing the island it resided on apart and making a sound so loud it covered a 13th of the globe. Even those in Australia could hear it. The name is thought to come from a few possible 
sources. Its most likely origin is thought to come from an indigenous word for lobster or crab. Why it was named after crustaceans, I'm not too sure. The idea I enjoyed, however, is that the name is onomatopoeic, representing the sounds the cockatoos would make who inhabited the island before its infamous eruption. It was just Krakatoa that was suggested by Yevol Zaka, and thanks to their suggestion, they will now be honoured as name explains patron saint of Krakatoa. Do you have a good idea for somewhere that's name could be covered in a name explained video? If so, then please consider donating on Patreon. Just one dollar a month helps keep the channel running and earns you a weekly chance to suggest somewhere to be turned into a video, and you too could be a name explain Patreon saint. Thank you to all my patrons who support Name Explain on a monthly basis. Name Explain depends on small monthly donations from fans like you to help keep the channel running. Just the small amount of $2 a month helps out in a huge way, grants you patron exclusive Name Explain extras, and gets your name here with all these awesome people. Thank you.